Good morning, Dutch Redis. You are watching Economic News on InstaForex TV channel with me, Tahmina Salomova. On Friday, while the single European currency and the British pound were placing the US dollar under pressure, the Canadian dollar, on the contrary, was giving way to the greenback. The greenback loony pair came off seven week lows, showing high volatility. By the end of the trading day, the pair rose to 1.2874 levels. Canada's macroeconomic statistics, awaited by the market, came in now mostly below forecasts. Canada revealed reports on its consumer prices and retail sales. According to the official data, Canada's consumer price index edged down by 0.2% in July, while a slower drop of 0.1% had been anticipated. In June, the indicator advanced by 0.2%. In annual terms, prices grew by 1.3%, down from a gain of 1.5% in June. Core consumer prices stood flat on a monthly basis in July, in line with analysts' expectations. Retail sales data also turned out to be discouraging. Retail sales in Canada fell by 0.1% in June after a rise of 0.2% in May. Analysts had projected an increase of 0.5%. Core retail sales, excluding auto sales, declined by 0.8%, offsetting the May gain of 0.8%. The Canadian Monetary authorities take the data into account when deciding on further policy steps. The Bank of Canada is uncertain of its further monetary course at the moment. The Friday statistics will help the regulator decide either on monetary softening or on stating pat on the current policy. You have watched financial news on InstaForex TV channel. See you later.